Thank you, Representative and Senator Turner. Uh, the third attack on voting rights that we've seen so far in this General Assembly, or I'm sorry, the fourth attack, uh, was Senate Bill 47. Senate Bill 47 uh, made some minor changes to the election code, uh, but the Republicans didn't just want to make har harmless changes to help election officials. They wanted to restrict voters' rights to petition their government and make it harder for Ohioans to fight extremist bills with their right to referendum. Extremist bills like Senate Bill 5 and House Bill 194 that we saw in the last General Assembly. Senate Bill 47 prohibited voters from signing petitions on certain days in support of a referendum petition. It also added additional restrictions to what petition could be used and when it could be distributed to voters in the final 10 days of gathering signatures. The goal of this bill was to take away the citizens' veto of extremist measures coming from this legislature. The fifth attack uh, by the Ohio Republicans on voting rights played out just a couple of weeks ago on the final three days of early voting before the May primary election. The Ohio Secretary of State failed to make sure that the last three days of early voting were open for all voters in the last three days before the May primary. After fighting uh, to close the polls for those three days in the last presidential election, all the way to the United States Supreme Court and losing, uh, the Secretary again violated the United States Constitution by allowing some counties to close on those last three days during which county boards of elections were required to be open at least on the Monday uh, before the election. Finally, the sixth attack on the right to vote uh, by the General Assembly was Senate Bill 10. Yet another misleading elections bill from the Republicans came in the form of a friendly bill, uh, Senate Bill 10, which uh, put uh, provisions of federal law, the Americans with Disabilities Act, uh, into the state code. Uh, we are already following those laws, uh, so it's arguable whether that was even necessary, uh, but amendments were tabled uh, to try to uh, put into state law provisions from federal law that we are not following, uh, like provisions of the uh, Civil Rights Act and provisions of the Motor Voter Law, which Ohio continues not to follow.